Now, back to Coastal Living on KZTV. So with these types of weather conditions, we might run into some flooding, but sometimes it's hard to avoid. I'm joined by Todd. He's the owner of Romay's Auto Service. Thank you for having me here today, Thanks Todd. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, so like I said, it was raining pretty hard earlier. I have come across some flooding today. The last thing I want to do is get some water in my transmission. Right. Why do you think the main important reason to avoid flooding would be? Just prevent engine failure overall. That's mm -hmm. the biggest part. It's best just to avoid any high water areas that you see. A lot of a lot of uh, you know drivers think that the air being sucked into the car is up at the uh, engine level, mm -hmm. but up, up near the hood. But actually, it's much lower. It's about midway between the uh, tire and the fender, and that's actually getting sucked into your engine, and that's what you want to prevent. So if that happens, unfortunately, a lot of us may not even be aware that that happens. What are some signs to look out for? One of the first signs that you'll see is going to be your engine shutting off. Mm -hmm. So your first instinct is to turn around and restart the car, and that's actually the worst thing you can do. Because at that point, water's gotten sucked in through your air filter and through your air filter system, mm -hmm. and it's already in your engine, and you're just going to make the, the problem worse. Absolutely. Now, say this happens, and you know, for some of us, we're not aware of these situations or the signs to look out for. The the longer that this happens, what can result after that? You're going to have long-term corrosion and rust. Um, you can even have, if water gets into the interior of the car as you get out, it can actually cause problems with the computer or the electrical system as well. So long-term problems can occur as well. All right, so obviously, um, now that we've gone over the telltale signs, mm -hmm. um, say this were to happen, where do people go for more information to come to Romaze? Well, you, you want to have your vehicle towed in to, a for, to, to our facility where we can look it over, making sure that everything's um, correct. We want to take, the first thing we want to do is get the water out. Okay. And, then, and then we can evaluate and see what we need to do next. And we'll see if we can uh, save the engine, because they, they can't, even if it shuts off when you're in the middle of a flooded street, mm -hmm. we can still save the engine as long as you don't restart it. Okay, so say we are stranded. We can give you guys a call and y'all can come help us out? Absolutely, you can, you, if you feel safe, you, we'll, you can call us or call a tow truck, we'll, or we'll call it for you. If you don't feel safe, if, 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 if the water, as the police, I mean, sorry, the fire department says, if water's coming in your vehicle, mm -hmm. it's best to get out and call 911, or if you don't feel safe, call 911. And you know, rain is so hard to come by here in the coastal bend, but we've been experiencing it a few days at a time, so it's great to know that you can come help us out. Why do you think people should go with Romay's versus any other place here in town? Y'all are so helpful in so many different ways. Well, there's a lot of good facilities you can go to, but we really focus on the customer experience. Mm -hmm. We really want the customer experience to, to excel their expectation, so we have well-trained certified technicians. Our, our front staff is well-trained, mm -hmm. so we really want to go above and beyond for every customer to make sure they have an excellent experience every time they come in. Absolutely, and I am a customer here. I am an avid customer at that. I've always had wonderful experiences. Now, one thing that I want to keep in mind is to never go through a puddle and explain to our friends one more time why you should not be running through the, the water as fun as it is, especially <laughs> those that have those high trucks with the lifts. Yeah. Remind them once again why it's important to avoid flooding. Well, you, you love to do it because you said you love to get your car washed. <laughs> yeah. It's better to go to Charisma. Yeah. All right, but the main reason you want to do it, you might think you'll be, you'll be able to make it because the flood or the puddle might be, uh, the area might be, you know, two to three inches, mm -hmm. which looks like it might make it through it. The biggest concern is that ongoing truck coming at you, that lifted right. four-wheel drive, uh, you know, pickup truck, that's going to create the wave that's going to get that um, water level six to eight inches, and that's where it's going to get sucked in down below that air duct into your system and into your engine. Well, great to know. Now, invite our friends over to Romaze in case they end up in a sticky situation like one of these. That's right. We're located at 2830 Cimarron Boulevard right here at the corner of Cimarron and Saratoga. Avoid those puddles, everybody.